Hello, people of the internet. This is going to be a quick FNAF news video because all the topics are kind of small. But hey, last episode, I told you guys that I cover all of the FNAF news. Well, I try to. I try to cover all of it. And this video is proof of that. No matter how small, I try my very hardest to inform you guys about everything going on with this franchise. So, if you want to stay up to date, subscribing is the best way. Our first topic, this released last night, it is Curse of Dreadbear out on the Oculus Quest. Stuart tweeted out, ho ho, oh no. Looks like we got our Halloween tangled up with Christmas. Curse of Dreadbear DLC is out now on the Oculus Quest. And attached to the tweet, they have a artwork piece of Dreadbear. Bear tangled up with some Christmas lights and he's wearing a Santa hat. And something that's very exciting is that they actually replied to their own tweet saying coming soon to Xbox and Switch. So that confirms that they are finally and officially working on Curse of Dreadbear for different platforms. So yeah, they're working on it for Xbox and Nintendo Switch, which is a bit interesting. The fact that they didn't say mobile I don't know if they are going to do Curse of Dreadbear for mobile. I don't even know if you can do DLC for, like, mobile games. I know you can do, like, in-game transactions, you know? Like, you pay five bucks in-game to get the deal. Well, it'll probably be more like ten because that's how much it costs. You pay ten bucks in the game, and then you get the bonus levels. I don't know if that's how it's going to work. Like I said, I don't even know if you can attach DLC to mobile games, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. But this is very exciting. Progress is going forward on DLC for other platforms. Hopefully not too much longer for Xbox and Switch. However, a quick warning. If you do have an Oculus Quest and you update your game, you may lose your progress. That has been happening to quite a few people. They've updated their game on Oculus Quest and all their progress has been erased. So, if you are updating your game, be careful about that. And we have some Fazbear Initiative news. Kane Carter put out a tweet saying, Now preparing the kitchen for a Christmas reveal. It might seem mundane, but this will instantly show the level of quality we are putting into the environments for Pop Goes Evergreen. I'm super proud of those involved with the environments and very excited to show off more for you guys. And then he attaches this picture to the tweet and my oh my, Kane and the people walking on Evergreen, big round of applause. This looks incredible. And Kane actually replied to someone in the comments, and this is apparently what the kitchen looks like. This is the official size of the picture, and what he's showing off is just that little, like, section. Oh my god. This is gonna be incredible. I can't wait to see more reveals in the future. Kane and all the people walking on Evergreen, you are doing a fantastic job. And now, some kind of not FNAF news, but, you know, I'm throwing it in here just because I think it's very interesting. We're talking about Willy's Wonderland again. If you don't know what Willy's Wonderland is, it's kind of like a FNAF movie alike starring Nicolas Cage. He's fighting off against, you know, killer animatronic robots. That's why I call it a FNAF movie alike. I've done at least one video in the past about Willy's Wonderland. It'll be linked down below. Basically, like I said, it's a movie, it's a horror movie, it's rated R, it stars Nicolas Cage fighting off against like eight or so animatronics, it's quite a lot, and it seems like based off of these brand new posters that got revealed, I think today, it seems like it's aiming for a winter release date. Whether that means December, January, February, March, I don't know, but it seems like we can expect not only a trailer soon, but maybe the entire movie soon as well. There's about five posters, I'll put them all on screen right now as I talk about the movie. The description reads, The janitor, Cage, finds himself stranded in a remote town. Unable to pay the repair shop to fix his jeep, he agrees to work off his debt by spending the night cleaning Willy's Wonderland, an abandoned theme park full of animatronic characters that were once a beacon of fun for children to play with. But Willy's Wonderland carries a dark secret that the janitor is about to discover. He's been lured into a deadly trap, or rather a living nightmare. As the Wonderland animatronic characters come to life to destroy him, the janitor is forced to fight his way from one monster to another trying to survive until morning. And the janitor doesn't play nice. So yeah, I kind of forgot to mention that. It's an action horror movie. Nicolas Cage is going to kick hella ass in this movie. You betcha, when a full trailer comes out, I'll be doing a video on that. Because even though it's not necessarily the FNAF movie, it's kind of close to it. I know some people get irritated when people call, like, the Banana Splits and Willy's Wonderland FNAF-like movies 
but that's what they are, you know? The main audience of FNAF may be fans of those movies, starring killer animatronics, so that's why I'm putting it in here, that's why I refer to these movies as FNAF-like movies. Also, the YouTube algorithm, you gotta love it. So now let's move on to FNAF AR. We have a few things to talk about here, first of which, is the merchandise store. It's been a bit since I've talked about the store and the items on there. I have been getting a lot of items. In fact, I should be getting more very soon. I just haven't done videos on them. So you should expect a FNAF AR merchandise video very, very soon. But basically, they've been pumping out content. I don't remember the last time I talked about it, so I'm just gonna go over the new items. You got stuff for the anniversary. You got stuff for the Jacko characters, Katrina, Toy, Chica, the, the, uh, the Thanksgiving event, Frost Bear stuff, um, the, uh, whatever it's called, the circus, the dark circus event, and then you also have, like, a holiday bundle, which includes some pajamas. Yeah, I'm not sponsored to say this, but if you want to get some FNAF AR merch, it's there. Now, the meter, of course, the second I put out my video on the progress thermometer, it goes up another bar, which means we're only two bars away from unlocking Golden Freddy. Since the progress bar ends tomorrow, I believe, I think we're gonna have to wait until the final week of December to get Golden Freddy, but hey, that's only another week we can live through that. So, the final thing, the brand new character for FNAF AR. Who's it gonna be? Well, we have a tweet right here teasing it. Arctic Belor brought temperatures to sub-zero. And now, all signs warn us of a storm that's coming to Winter Wonderland. It's a little hard to tell who this is hinting at. Sub-Zero and Storm are probably like the main wards that we want to focus on. So some like Blizzard uh, skin, not character, Blizzard skin for who? I don't know. I don't know who would walk well with a Blizzard skin. I hope it's not ice. I think a snow skin would be cool. I really hope we don't get a third ice skin for this event. That is just... Illumix, I know you said there's not much you can do with a winter theme, but that is so not true. But anyways, that is it. Looking forward to tomorrow, the, the new skin. Again, who do you think it is? Leave your comments down below, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Oh, shoot. You know what I need to talk about? Darko's new song. I just did the outro, and I completely forgot. Darko has a release date for the Fetch song. Why didn't I talk about this? He released a teaser for it. I'll play it right now. And he says that the next song, Fetch, will be released Saturday, the 19th of December. So if you clicked off the video and you missed that, sucks to suck. But if you stuck around to the end, first off, clearly you enjoyed the video. So like, subscribe, do all that awesome stuff that makes you awesome. Kind of a messy outro, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. We're gonna do take two, right? Take two of the outro. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. This is ridiculous. You've got to be kidding me. I just stopped recording two minutes ago, and we get Sanchi news. Boys! Okay, Sanchi has just re-released their Golden Freddy plushie and their Freddy plushie for pre-order. They also released some exclusive Freddy Fazbear and Golden Freddy collector pins. The plushies are 30 bucks each, and the pins are 11 United States doll hairs each. I'm guessing just like the previous plushies that got re-released, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy, these are updated slash uh, reimagined versions of the previous plushies. So they're not exact copies, but they're slightly different, slightly altered. Okay, I'm done. This is the final thing. If you stuck till the end of the video, you already know what I'm gonna say. I've said it already. I'm just gonna go for the final time. I'm not coming back. This is the end of the video. Okay, bye bye Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.